I managed to catch some spectacular footage of a rainbow bubble tip anemone splitting right before my eyes. Stay tuned because you gotta see this. Welcome back to IC Live, my name's Mark. Diving right into this video, and for those that don't know much about bubble tip anemones, here's a brief synopsis. Intichmia quadricolor, aka bubble tip anemones, are colorful marine creatures found in the Indo-Pacific region. They form symbiotic partnerships with clownfish, offering protection in return for food scraps and shelter. These anemones feature bubble-like tips on their tentacles, which come in various colors. They are carnivorous. They use stinging tentacles to capture prey. Bubble tip anemones are popular in the reef hobby, but they require specific care, including proper lighting, water flow, and stable water conditions. They can reproduce both sexually and asexually through longitudinal fission. Careful placement is essential, as they can also be aggressive toward other anemones and corals in your aquarium. However, it's likely that they're just going to crawl around wherever they want. So what I managed to capture yesterday was asexual reproduction through longitudinal fission. Stating it in simpler terms, the anemone essentially ripped itself in half. Like what the f Most experienced reef hobbyists have kept bubble tip anemones for long enough to have one split at some point, however it's rarely seen live. Most of the time you go to bed with one anemone and then you wake up and now you have two. You know it's split but it just happened in private. I've had reef tanks for over 25 years and this is the first time that I've ever seen it happen live. Let's get into the video and I'll set the stage. My buddy Christian has a tank loaded with bubble tip anemones that love to split. He asked me if I wanted one so I said yes. I had the perfect place for it to go because I have this custom nano tank that I've been cycling for months. More on this tank in a future video. I added the anemone and it eventually found its spot and started looking great. The new tank then developed a cyanobacteria bloom, so I hit it with some red slime remover. I was worried about the anemone during the dosing process, so I kept a close eye on it. The lights went out, and just before bed I went to go check on the anemone, and it looked a little bit odd. It took me a few minutes because I didn't really know what was going on, but then I realized it was splitting right before my eyes, so I scrambled to grab some video cameras. And this is what I captured. The anemone had walked its foot to separate sides of a ridge on an aquascape, which is actually the Vornor seashell, which was the first video I ever made on this channel. It looked like the anemone used the ridge of the shell to help pull itself apart as it walked its foot in separate directions. The split appears to have started from the bottom of the foot, eventually ending at the mouth, which you'll see here in a few minutes. The total time that it took from start to finish was about 2 hours, although I only managed to get the last 45 minutes of the split. For the sake of time, I'm going to speed things up and slow some parts down, so here we go. With the split complete, the two anemones went their separate ways. As a lifelong reef nerd, I thought this was awesome, and I'm so happy that I decided to check on the anemone before bed. It's fascinating that this creature somehow decides to just rip itself into two identical but autonomous parts. Now, I thought this was the end of the story, so the next day I was about to tell my buddy Christian, but he called me first in a panic because his tank was crashing. I rushed up to his house and we scrambled to try to stave his livestock, but it was too late. We watched 30 plus anemones melt right before our eyes. But this story is still ongoing and for a future video. But this is a wrap for today and be sure to like and subscribe so you can get notified when I make more videos like this and so that you can see what happens to Christian's anemone tank as we try to solve the mystery of why it crashed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you live in the next video.